I found professional Roblox builders to build a house in 10 minutes, ranging to ones that took 50 hours long, and the best one gets free Robux. This Adopt Me house took 10 minutes. What's on the inside? Let me show you. We have a small pumpkin patch, a sofa, and two doors. Next house. This player's house took them one hour to decorate. Let's find out what one hour can go and get you. So far, this looks pretty cool and it's all done inside of the VIP house. Wow, that is a lot of love hearts. In here we have a kitchen. Through here we have a living room with a telly. Oh, we can turn it on and watch my favorite show. Through here we have a bedroom and then an ensuite. Oh, I like that. Behind the mystery door is another bedroom attached to another bathroom. Now what's cool about this player's house is that it actually has a swimming pool and it even has a fun garden. One of my favorite features is it has a working elevator where you can even go and select which floor that you want to go to and then you get to go and explore. This next build has taken over 10 hours to go and make and it's about Harry Potter. Let's go and check out what this is. This kind of looks like an on fire vault and to go and gain access we have to sit in it. Taz said that he built this for his daughter and her friends and he didn't know there was a build limit and to be fair I don't think many players know there's a build limit as not many players are going to be building such amazing things in their houses. And the fact that Adopt Me has a build limit is still kind of sad, but from a game standpoint, I think it's to make sure nothing breaks. Now, this looks really awesome, and I can see why it took a long time. I am definitely a Gryffindor, if you couldn't tell based off of uh, my avatar's colors. That is the team we support. And I think that this man called Taz is a Ravenclaw based on his colors. He's even made a pitch where you're meant to go and place your phoenix on. Oh, that's so cool. Because that looks exactly how it works in the movie. And on the other side, we have a Naga dragon for Slytherin. That's so fun. The amount of detail placed into this build is crazy and it's only going to get crazier. For example, these classrooms right here. Behind this door is a world of mystery. It kind of just looks like a dark, dark room. And over here, it says Expecto Patronum. And wait, where am I falling? Am I going down a ramp? And then it says to sit here? Okay, whoa, that's so cool. Where am I? I'm in a secret tunnel? Teleport to the Sky Castle? That's awesome. That's so fun. I don't even know where I am anymore. We have to check out the other classroom. It goes upstairs. And this is the Spells classroom. And look at these little posters on the wall. I've never thought of using different emojis to make like a little piece of art. I didn't even know there was that many different emojis of wizards and witches. That's kind of really fun. So we have a Spells class in here. And what's up here? Like a potions room where you can grow a love potion? That would be kind of funny if you could actually do that. I mean, that is a bunch of potions. We have fly potions, cure potions, transparent tea, grow potions. My favorite and rarest ones are the teleport and the snowflake potions. If you guys have ever used one of those potions, let me know in the comments as they are extremely expensive to go and use. So, after showing you this, we're now going to check out the next one. Is there an Adopt Me pet that you've been trying to get? And you're missing it from your collection? Introducing Blocks Trade, a free-to-use Adopt Me trading website, where you can find offers for the exact pets that you want, such as the brand new Sunrise Duckling. You can find people trading them, select your items, and go and create an offer. Then join them in game, do the trade, and you're able to go and get the pets that you need. You can even select any category and then go and make offers on it. It's a great website and I've left the link in the description for you to all go and check this out for yourself. This castle looks absolutely insane. Like this looks like a real house that Adopt Me has gone and designed. 
There's so much detail in this house, so let's go and check it out. Starting with this wishing well and this little field full of apples. That's a donut? I would eat apples every single day if they tasted like a donut. Then we've got like this vegetable patch out of like ice creams. These like, like little ice creams. And then some sweet corn. And over here we have a little pony. How cute is that? Even this little stable is something that I'd never be able to build. Let alone this giant extreme extremely detailed castle. Over here we have a working waterfall, like this thing has water flowing through it and smoke and bubbles coming out of it, I didn't even know that was possible. And then through here we have like an actual proper entrance. This kind of just feels too crazy for me, so let's go and open up the gates and see what is inside. Over here we have archery and swords. And you could do archery at this little area. That's so cool. I love this. Onwards. I'm not sure what is this way, but this looks crazy. There's some water here. And then is this like a magical portal? I, I don't know what this is. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did that work? How did that just happen? I don't, I don't know. What in the magic water did that just do? Take a shower, take a shower. Bro, how did that... That is so cool. You can make elevators and adopt me. That is insane. Okay, up here we have, wait, what is that? What is that? Maybe they're building it still? Is that gonna be a dragon? Oh, that's cool. This will be a dragon? Epic, that's nice. I can definitely see that being an awesome dragon. Apparently, I am a king. Apparently, this was made before all of the build updates. Back then, it was extremely hard to build since there was no tools to help. This build is even fully furnished and has decorations inside of each and every section. And apparently down here is a secret room to grind for your pets. And wow, does this thing look like the most glamorous pet grinding location I think I have ever seen in my existence? Like, you can go and feed your pets here, so your bat dragon can go and drink, and this just looks so glamorous. And posh, I didn't even know that existed. Your pet can eat? This build didn't take as long as the next build that I'm about to show you, which is about to go and get very crazy. If you think this build is good, just wait until I show you one that took over 50 hours to go and make. This is Peter Pan, and I am now a baby, which means I will be getting a special tour. What is going on? I just got pushed down the slide. That's actually quite fun. All right, Mr. Peter Pan, where will you take me next? The fly home, okay? I wanna fly home, I don't know what this is or how it works. How do you get to Neverland? Well, you fly of course, wait what? He's flying! Peter Pan can actually fly and adopt me? Wait, where are we going? We actually just flew up here. What? How is this working? I don't know what type of mechanic this person has used to allow flying, but that is crazy. It's now boosting them up even further, and he's like not even got a fly pet on, or he's not even doing anything. We are currently really high in the sky right now that I didn't even know is possible. Are we, we in a star? What? That is insane. Second star to the right, and straight on until morning. We are in a literal star, guys, and you can see it right now. That's so cool. Should we jump through it? I wonder where it will take you if you jump through to infinity. I, I can't look. Look how crazy that is. We've got like a full on view of this guy's map. I think he's about to walk. And of course, a safe landing. Bro, where is the safe landing? Oh, the swimming pool. That's a rock. That's a rock. Oh, no, we, we made it safely. We actually made a safe landing. They love the crocodile. Where's the crocodile? I can see the crab. Over here, we've got some turtles and even some baby little turtle eggs. And there's even a little turtle swimming. Oh, I just got placed on the little turtle. How cute is that? That's actually quite fun. That you can become a turtle and adopt me by just sitting on it. That's, that's really funny. Over here, we have the crocodile that has eaten a clock. Think happy thoughts. What is this? Wait, where did we just go? There's an elevator in this? Where am I? I don't know. Is this an actual, like, clock tower? 
what is that? And how did we just go and get in it? Honestly, there is so much going on to comprehend right now, but that is actually crazy. Like, the view from this is so cool. This right here is like an evil layer made out of an actual skull. And the eyes and the mouth actually glow at night. This looks absolutely insane. I never would have thought to have used these grass bits as like tree parts. Oh, it's just turned nighttime, and I can see what he means when it says that it glows. That's nice. Apparently, this build actually took them 40 hours, and I think I can kind of see why. This might be my favorite house to exist in Adopt Me from the movie Up. Let's go and check out the inside to see if it's actually decorated. And wow, it actually is? He's fully decorated this out? And there's colored donuts? Grab a donut, bake the donut, bro. I am gonna bake this donut and cover it in all of the icing possible. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, let's grab this donut and uh, I'm going strawberry, strawberry all the way. You can add tomato. Add tomato sauce to your donut. I think I'll pass on that one. So that's crazy. There's even a kitchen in here. And then what's in here? If this is the living room from up, I will cry. Oh my word. They have fully replicated it, including the little piano. Oh no way. This is too wholesome. There's a fire pit. There's like the little chairs from the movie. This is insane. Wow. And let's go and check up the upstairs. Bro, they've even gone and like fully decorated the interior of this house. That is insane. There's a whole bedroom in here and a whole bathroom in here. And this thing literally looks identical to what it looks like in the movie. And then the outside is the sky. Yeah, <laughs> because if you take a step outside, then you will kind of just fall to your doom. But that is kind of what you expect when your house is kind of in the middle of the sky, in the middle of an adopt me island. This literally looks insane. I can't believe how detailed this is. Wow. Look how amazing this build is. Honestly, this house looks absolutely amazing and I just love it. Comment which build you think should win the Robux. And click this video here to find out how to always hatch a legendary pet and adopt me. Featuring Sunny X, Misty and Ocean Z.